Yo, what up guys? Tips here. So I got a new deck. The combo for this deck is the Black Flame plus the Scion. What you want to do is you want to put him in this landmark. So every time you attack, Scion comes out, he'll die, he'll turn into his ephemeral and you'll get a rally because of the last breath from Scion and you will just be relentlessly punishing your opponent every single time. And that's literally the whole spice of this brew. You can even lock Draven in here, which I've done, or you can even lock Fallen Reckoner. Really spicy list. And yeah, I've got some funny stuff. I'll show you some clips. My editor will put it up, like some axes. Okay, never mind. I guess we're fine. Uh, we got Scion over here. Look at him. And look at this. We're rallying again, dude. Yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this list. Do some funny stuff and let me know. Hell yeah, dude. Yoda? Wait, is this, this is another Yoda. Yo, Danny, thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. Aight. Yeah, that's a hold, that's a hold, that's a... Position, position. Is position a hold? Probably not. Alright, so we have the Draven Tutor. Fuck. <laughs> we get so many Draven Tutors, man. It's all good, it's all good. Again, they're still pretty good units, I guess, because they're straight up like one, two ones. What the fuck, the real tip? Yo, what's up, Sebastian? Yeah, bro, I came back today. It's my, uh, it's for the new year, man. New year, new me. How you been, brother? Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Wait, is there a fake tippy or some shit? Wait, what is this? Is he gonna draw rolls me or some shit? Oh, this dude definitely has like sharp side or rolls or something. Catch. To ages. I think we just go in in. All right, what it what it, define dance is for Aatrox, Black Flame. You know, I'm just get rid of like one of these guys. I think. I mean, we could just do a work. Yeah, let's just go in in. We lose, we lose, right? Draven levels. Yeah, hopefully, dude. Oh, huge, 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 huge. Happy New Year's. I'm fine. I've been holding chill down the fort. Yeah, dude. I saw a couple notifications on Twitch from some from you, Sebastian, a couple others. I just wasn't on Twitch, though. I literally was like, I'm out, bro. Let me just enjoy my holidays. I'm going to be coming back as hard as ever. And uh, yeah. So I was like, it's dope. Bro, what is there to do, though, like nowadays? Like, I, I just looked at the meta. It's the same shit as last time. So, like, I don't know what to really do. <laughs> like, did anything change over the past, like, week and a half? Or... Okay, we're gonna lose Mr. Draven. We can actually tutor another one, which is dope. Shave my beard. Ayo. In due time, my friend Nom. In due time. Maybe I'll shape it up. Maybe. Maybe next month. Not the whole thing, but I'm thinking of maybe shaping up the mustache because I haven't touched this shit. Might make it a little thinner. I haven't, like, I was trying to grow out one of those, like, fancy mustaches. But, bro, I just don't think my genetics are there. Or I have to, like, wait another year for that shit. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, probably just shape it up. See how that looks. You know what I mean? You are you never know how you're gonna look with uh, certain styles. So you have to test out everything, right? I have never really grown out facial hair like this, so... I have to do experimentations here and there. See what I like, see what works, see what doesn't. Just how it is, boys. Do the Braum mustache, Yada? Oh, dude, I wanted it by lobster. But, dude, the thing is, man, it takes so long to grow my hair out, like my facial hair. I have to do this for another, like, maybe seven and eight months before I can do something like that, I think. Like, it can go up a little bit if I put a little bit of, uh, like, mustache balm or whatever that shit's called. But, um, I don't know, man. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll grow it out by the end of next year. But I definitely want to try out the shorter style, you know? I think it would suit me. I've had a couple of people telling me that the shorter mustache thing would look a bit nicer on me. So I'm thinking maybe for the next few months, I'm gonna maybe shape, sh shape it up, shave it, see if I like it. And then by the end of the next year, I'll grow it out to see if I can actually get one of those, like, lobster, like, or Braum mustaches. That sounds like the wave. Yeah, my bad, guys. Sorry, I know none of you guys want to know about my beard problems. <laughs> uh, let's go and do that. 
Another Scion. Hmm. He's literally bricked. So am I. So if he plays now the Aatrox, this is the Defiant Dance play. Okay, he doesn't have it. I could technically survival skills, there's no way. Fizz Gwen and Fizz Yumi popped up. Really? I did not see that. Bro, we know it doesn't have, I mean, we need to save this for the Aatrox most likely. Or we could just survival skills and chill, but like... He passes, please? Play around survival if you pull the other way. He might just pass at this point, it's not bad. And yeah, as you guys can see, uh, you guys have been able to see, on turn six, we have not been able to do anything. I think we're missing something very crucial. Yeah, we've been missing some crucial, crucial shit, guys. So something's definitely wrong with this build where we're just not playing something correctly. Or, well, we're missing cards that could potentially level us. World Ender for 8? Or oh, for 11? I mean, yeah, it's not bad, dude. I guess we're gonna have to do this, unfortunately. And it sucks because I really, really wanted to set up another Scion, but we have to get rid of this. Like, wait, we had Reborn Grenadier. Could have done that. Oh well. And came in at 15. I'm, I'm camping at like 100, dude. Not really much. Swinging. You can play more Jarols, right? What are you doing? Is he expecting a Defiant or Concussive here? Get rid of the Aatrox here. We're not leveled though, right? 23 to 35. Boy, I wish we were leveled. Okay, okay. Oh, he drew it off straight. I was like, bro, how, how's that possible? All right, so another Scion. Wait a minute. I think we just dropped this one actually. This might be the play, right? So hold on, let me think about this. This is pretty dope. We play another Scion. We go to tw uh, 28. 28. So then 29, 30, 31. I think we actually have to do this to level up my boy. Because we need to get him to six, right? This is more. Yeah, perfect. Right, was that exacties? I think that was exacties. So now we just open swing and we actually have the line. We have the full survival skill spinning axe. We have the whirling death. We actually have the play. Like, and we rally here because we have a we have a freaking uh, Aatrox in here. He might slice and dice my boy, but it's not bad because we have a black flame uh, sound. So this is the infinite combo basically. It's not like fully infinite, but it does work for what, when you need the, uh, basically what you need the attack token for. We survive this, right? Wait, survival skills keeps us alive, correct? I think that's how it works. It should. I hope. Yeah, striking. Yeah, let's go. And I think that's just GG's. 
We also have Whirling Dash. We literally can have the whole hand played out. And look at this. We're rallying again, dude. That's the fucking beauty of the Scion Black Flame deck. Imagine it didn't work. Blue Haw, that shit would be funny, huh? <laughs> it would just, like, kick W. Yeah, we have the... And this is the rally play that we were literally looking for. Like, how does he win here? And we have the Whirling Death interaction. This is the two of that we added. Like, if he has another s swing at me. He has to, like, somehow deny this Scion from dying. That's, like, his out. Condemn, yeah. And we literally will just go like that. And that is GG's, boys. And e either way, like, we can even let this go through. You know what? Let's assert dominance and just say... Let's assert dominance, bro. I don't have to do shit. Like, let's just show him two Scions. Like, what could go wrong? Wait, what? And we don't get another Black Flame here, unfortunately. It's not infinite, 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 but, like, you get it per turn, which is good. So, GG's. That's how you do it, guys. Yeah, we didn't. I didn't mean to troll him like this, but, like, I just wanted to show you guys that it didn't matter there. So, tips. How do you mulligan? What you want to normally look for is Draven. If you don't have Draven on your opener, you better find him by either holding the biggest fan or you're holding the Draven. You then also want to hold at least one card that can get like discarded. For example, like a Fallen Rider, something like a Reborn Grenadier is really nice because this has synergy with the deck, right? A lot of it is discarding things and going again for wide attacks with Salt and Stitches. Really strong and yeah. That's it. The most part, you're just playing everything else, and you want to play the Black Flame again on either the Draven, Scion, or your Reckoner. Dude, I look like a literally like an AI right now, dude. Yep. All right. So we just played the Draven's biggest fan. We are gonna be we tutored the Draven right now. Um, we could actually just pass here, I think. We really don't want to get rid of Scion. Scion's the homie. Draven with like a million A's. Hell yeah. Do I care about this unit? I mean, probably. Nah, let's not trade. I feel like he wants to set up. These are just like stuff for Kindred, if anything. There's Black Flame. So we actually have the Nuts Hand, I'd say. I just need to be able to make sure this Kindred dies on when she swings. Why well, use Ribbon Dancer? It's a one of. So if you ever have something Black Flamed, you can swing. You can play the Ribbon Dancer, and you'll uh, get a nice little attack. Just cute. That's like the whole purpose with Black Flame. It's really nice. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna swing with Draven. Looks chill. Again, I just hope he doesn't have like uh, interaction to kill my Draven. Like I just hope he's gonna be swinging with um Kindred, and then we can get a nice little survival skills cheese. A glimpse would be nice here for him. Black Spear would suck. All right, he's maintaining his stuff. And the thing with Kindred is they don't even have to attack, right? They can literally just start killing your board by just um, playing the weapon, right? There's like a weapon that kills the stuff. He doesn't have to swing. He'd just be in the back row. So if that's the case, I really can't interact with him. At that point, Roji's card that he said where I could strike would, would have been really relevant. Um, Let's see what we do here. I guess we just... See if we can get a pass. I don't want him slaying, and if he does slay, we're gonna only lose the two one here. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Am I dumb? Aw, oh, dude. Uh oh. I'm an idiot. I actually forgot. I should have probably. I misplayed. Oops. All right, maybe we can figure out some things. We could save Draven, but I'm hoping he swings here or something. Wait, I have triple physicians? Bruh. I didn't even see that. Let's see if he swings here. If not, we're gonna have to Black Flame. I hope he goes for the swing, but he should play around Whirling Death, right? Black 
Black Flame the Draven. He's gonna swing. I hope he does it with Kindred, and then we can like survival skills bop this dude. Misclicked. What? I didn't misclick. What are you talking about? Easy clap, boy! Get you baited! This is what I'm talking about, guys. Next gen strats right here, dude. Look at this. Beautiful. And then, I guess we open. Actually, this is a good swing, but like, kind of, we kind of have to pressure a bit more, no? Yeah. Double Draven time. Double Draven action, baby. Yeah, like he's gonna play Aatrox next turn. Oh, he has another Kindred, bruh. What a great player, dude. Imagine having double Kindred. Dude, Kindred is so annoying to deal with without like interaction. Am I still in the one of bloody business? I have not seen a bloody business. I, I don't think I run bloody business in this deck. There was a consideration we could add it, but then again, it's going to be really hard to play out. Bro, this is sick. Looks chillin', looks chillin'. Look at this axe synergy, man. Wait, why is Sai not leveled again? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Anyways, he'll get leveled, dude. He'll get good. Somehow. Why is he blocking like this? Right, we could have leveled our Draven, but I want to be able to hide the survival skills so we can maybe block with Kindred again. Double D's on the board, boys. Yo, double D's on the board. I don't even know how to spell double D with my hands, but yeah, double D, bro. Alright, so yeah, this should be fine, I think. Bro, how many scions does it take? I mean... Sheesh! <laughs> At least we'll level... We could just discard one of them, right? And that should be enough. Because you're discarding that to go to 27, and then that should be at 7. That should be enough, I think. Right? Hopefully. I could see Jarol's coming through. I mean, that's fine, I guess. So we just do that. I could have potentially killed Kindred here. Uh, let's not do that. Whoops. Wait, what? Why is no one dying? My, am, am I? Oh yeah, no one's dying, so we're fine. Whoops. I'm just gonna do that on probably this Scion. That's funny that this actually costs a lot of mana to play, but it's worth it. It looks good. So now we just slam the Scion and we... So is this Draven leveled up or is this a regular... So this is... I actually haven't done this interaction, guys. Is this a leveled up Draven or is it going to be a normal Draven? Because we captured a normal Draven. We ca we captured a Normie in here. Is this... I wonder. He's leveled? Do you guys think so? Hmm. Alright, if you guys are saying so, I think this would make sense. Since every copy levels. All right, all right. So I believe you guys. Imagine just like an. Oh wow, you're so good at this game, bro. I I'm glad you held your kindreds, bro. All right, so now we just slap the scion here, and just war time. Woo! Let's go, scion. Let's go. Yeah, what's even crazier is if you play this on Scion, though, but we just couldn't, right? We were kind of forced to do this because he wanted to hold his little... He wanted to play for his little uh, kindreds and be cute and stuff, so... I had to change my line since he was uh, being a little ape. Um, Yeah, and we just full swing here, I think. Looks pretty good. 
Do I ever not swing with this 2-2? Two -two? I wonder. I don't know if we kill him here, actually. Yeah. Holy crap. Alright, guys. YOLO. We have overwhelmed with them because we had, like, triple sign on this game. Pretty funky, man. Pretty funky. Wait a minute. I'm trolling. If Great Physician dies, that's bad because we lose a unit, right? Okay, never mind. I guess we're fine for now. <laughs> so many axes. I think we have to push for lethal here, no? If I'm not mistaken. Hmm, I think we do push, but he might kill one of these, which would suck. I think we just have to go for this, potentially. GG's, let's go! Yeah, I feel like he was gonna probably go for like a suicide on his side for like killing one of his things. Um, and then I would just, he would, that, that would be his way of coming back, I would say. So we had to pose lethal every single time there. Um, and at that point, if he does vengeance to Scion, we do get another attack, which is even stronger. But I guess we wouldn't get a Draven to swing there, but yeah. Dope, 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 dope. So, some dope tep cards you could be running in this deck, guys. Syncopation, amazing card, because if they don't block something, you do a little switch room with Scion or something else, and uh, your opponent just takes a lot of damage. Really fun card, and your opponents will not see this coming. You could potentially put in a Rune Squire. We don't have that much interaction in this deck, aside from when they're attacking, where we can use Whirling Death, but you might be able to pull something, you know, maybe kill that Lucian hiding in the back. And he also puts you up a reforge so you can get quickies or overwhelm or any of that to synergize with your with your hand states. Now, Fey Folk is an interesting one because this one can actually buy you turns to just nail your combo. I was actually running this in an earlier version, but I didn't like it too much. But this did help in certain matchups, trust me. If where you just need to make sure you're not dying to aggro and staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive. Uh uh. Anyways, anyways, you guys know that song, right? <laughs> Last Fervor, amazing card. Since you're pretty aggressive with this deck to begin with, you have the discard package of Draven and all that. You can actually suicide your Scion and also hit face. At the same time, proc a rally so you can go in for like your kill. Really, really good card and even target anything. Fervor has always been a solid, nice, amazing, either aggressive card or you could use it more to trade off. It's really nice. On God, on God. I'm telling you right now, this is like tier one right now. Uh, are there any good rise decks? I know Alan put Rise with like Seraphine a while back. It's basically Seraphine. And there was this one deck that was Rise with uh, Ionia, which someone hit Masters with, but that's the only list I know of. I'll just hold Draven. Uh, Concussive will be good for the Rek'Sai. But I'm not going to hold it. I hope we draw into it, because I don't think they're going to ramp that quick or go for him that quick. We need to find like survival skills, thing of that sort. He whiffed again? Easy physician. On to my fallen rider. Grenadier's huge to block again. We finally found the black flame, so we have like cute plays with that shit. Okay. He's Draven on three, baby. Wait, did I already play the... No, we're good. You just swing with one of these, I think. Or not. Let me think about it this time. So last time I just rushed my play. So right now we could 2-2 two, two block on the 2-1 and then do we want to save survival skills is the question.
So, right, we could block here, here, and then we could put Grinder to block that, and then we swing with that, or else, or what we could do is just, yeah, I think this is the better line, actually. I think this makes sense. Hmm. Snapjaw. Okay, Chronos. Pike spell. Fine, we have another Draven. There's the Black Flame with the Scion. Concussive is good for Rek'Sai, but it's really early. Yeah, we just play Draven. We'll have the Survival Skittles, which is cool. The thing is with Rise, you have to high roll your little your little uh, spell thingies, right? That shit's annoying as fuck. There's Rex on. I'll save Concussive here for. Wait, what? Oh shit, I'm dumb. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, we kind of need this for Rek'Sai, but it's fine. We have to find Dance anyways. You have some Brokers. Oh, we have another Concussive. Easy clap. No, survival skills was good. We needed it so we could protect our boy. It was actually a good line. I could set up another Draven, I guess, but that's probably incorrect. So we could Black Flame Draven right now. I mean, he does have a little thing on him. It's fine. So we'll black flame into defiant just so it's six mana, right? So we do that. Draven for the win. Sure, Pike is getting stacks, but he's still pretty small, so we really don't care. Go, Draven, go! Wait, what? We can kill him, but yeah, we could kill the Pike, but then we would just lose the game. The level sign too fast. We had a vulnerable on our Draven, so we were going to lose him either way, right? That's like the logic. Twin? Could get rid of Twin. Uh, isn't it just like Scion? Is this enough? Fuck, we're like off. <laughs> Damn. Um, let me think about this. I guess we just concussive? <laughs> you said this idea in Alan's chat? I mean, it's not a bad idea, bro. We just develop Slyon this turn and that's it, right? We go in. Oh shit. Oh, 
I mean, you have the stun. Uh, plus twin, or keep twin to protect from pike spell. Yeah, I think twin can protect from pike pretty nicely. Again, I don't even know if I like this twin. I just had it as a one-off because twin is a good card, right? Joelfish? We lose to Joelfish? Alright. So Draven's gonna give me more axes, which is fucking dope. I could send the Salt and Stitches here if I really want to, which is probably a good line at this point. Go, go, my rat. It's not bad, right? Loki, Black Flame is just putting in work. Axe Printer, basically. And then we have another attack with the Draven, who's still ephemeral, giving more axes. Pretty dope, right? That's awesome. Look at this. Hell yeah, sign the return. Um, so guys, which deck made you get high? Which deck made us get high, bro? Or oh, you mean like the climb? Oh, I thought you were talking about a different high, bro. If you have any cool deck ideas, comment below, and I might just play it. Do some funny stuff and let me know. Appreciate you guys who dropped the ideas. Uh, today you guys have definitely are helping me out a bit Did we hold sign on this I mean Probably not I would say it's nice to have him on turn seven you want to clock him, but Hmm Yeah, let's put you I really like uh, what is it called? The five cost card that we have that you discard and you like have your stuff, uh, your guy doesn't die. Really strong card. Survival skills. I'm on three of it. Even though we don't have that, that many discard targets or as much as I'd like, but that card's like really strong. Hmm. Slowing it down, right? It's another Scion, Draven. Damn, bro, you're thick, though. Okay, not bad, not bad. Pretty sick, pretty sick. 18 out of 35. He's at 10 HP. Concussive to keep us alive a little bit. We'll lose our Draven, but we got Axes. Not that bad. We have Deny. Not sure what we're denying, but... Uh, so, Revenant or Risen Rider? We always get pulled here. Could stun. We could low key stun here and then, like, he can't swing because we have axe. It's not the worst line, I guess. Ah, I didn't play around harp. Hmm. Imagine survival skills here. Spooky. Survival skills, huge. This doesn't really matter, right? They're like the same shit.
interesting play. Goes to him, so let's just play it on Draven. Because we're not killing that unit, right? Interesting blocks by opponent. This is Aatrox, most likely. Oh, it's not Aatrox. Hmm. So, I think it's just Revenant here. Hmm. Oh, he's used the scout attack already? Interesting. I don't think we care about tumble at this point. We just slap Sion next turn, right? Yeah, I think we're fine. He's already used the scout, so we're chilling. Yeah, we never drew a black flame. It's kind of sus, no? Do we care about Dark Enthrall is the question now? I'm trying to think how I lose here, because he might have a tumble, right? So if he tumbles, I mean, we're probably trading everyone at this point if he does tumble. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I think we'll just trade the Draven. Just for another Axe. Oh, he can't tumble. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Anyway, it's fine though. We got it. We want another axe just so we can win with Sion, right? It's always the play. It doesn't matter. This is always the correct line, guys. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Like if he tumbles, like we're chilling. Yeah, we just get it. I don't know, dude. Denias felt really bad. I might just go Nopify at this point. It hasn't done anything. Again, based off of the logic that we should win by turn 7 or 8. Like, we're always beating Field of Rush and other stuff like that. So I think Nopify is always the better play. Or just a better card. Daddy, Daddy Trox. The question now is, do we set up... I mean, I guess we could just wait, right? We're gonna wait for him to block. He could be on sharp sight. So we could spinning axe right now. Only Scion? No, well, we can kill anything he puts here, right? If he plays Aatrox, we could double axe. No, but the thing is, he has a tumble, right? That's kind of his winning play. Interesting play. Yeah, Sion first is good because if he doesn't block, he just loses. Correct, right? Right? He has tumble, right? So he's gonna think he's got me where he wants me. So we could push one more damage. Or we could just chill right now. Yeah, so we'll just set up the little axe guy to block and then we just full swing and that should be enough, right? Oops. 
So he's going to cheese me out with the tumble here, but we have the little reborn grenadier. Yeah, I'm going to add a uh, chain ch take out tonight for nope. I think this is going to help us. Wait, world under. If you played the world under, I would have been fucked, right? Wait, why not just play world under? Isn't that the safest play? Cause strat you would be like goaded. If he has Condemn, we lose, I think, right? Huge. Got him. Yeah, I think if he played Strat you, he was, like, winning, right? Why not just play Strat you? Or, like, World Under for two. Let me, let me watch this again, dude. Wait a minute. If y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Deck codes will be in the description below. Stay alive, stay alive. Uh, uh, anyways, anyways.